Creating compelling videos can be achieved in so many different ways. And there's no better way to do that than to use the effects that are inside of Premiere Pro to spice up those videos and leverage some of the lesser known effects that you may not know about. Here are four of those effects and how best to use them in your videos. Effect number one is called the Luma Key. Go up to the effects window, select Luma Key, and the Luma Key effect can be used to create some really cool, compelling transitions. So here we have an Luma Key effect going from a day clip of the sky, and the Luma of the sky in the first clip is going to sort of dissolve and fade away into this city scene here. We are gonna drag and drop two clips that we have from Adobe Stock, and it's important that you actually stack these clips on top of each other where you want that transition to happen. And you're gonna add that Luma Key effect to the top clip so that it sort of transitions and fades into the next clip. So we go to effects, type in Luma Key, and drag this on top of our clip. And you can see that it's already kind of creating something. So we're gonna to go to effects controls, and we have the threshold and the cutoff. So if we just start manually pulling these apart, it's being affected here. The cutoff is now pulling that sky out and creating this almost like paper transition effect. So we're gonna keyframe both of these properties here. We're gonna set a keyframe on threshold and drag our playhead forward, set another keyframe, and we're gonna do the same thing for cutoff. We're gonna go to the next and drag that forward. So we're gonna start on zero properties for both. And for threshold, we're gonna make this 100% and the cutoff, we are also going to make 100%. You can see that if we play that back in doing this, we have something that actually looks pretty cool. Now what I've noticed is it's nice to offset these two keyframe properties to create an even smoother transition. So we're gonna actually just drag this out a little bit, kind of offset our effect here. And that looks pretty cool. So another really cool way to spice up your transitions if you want to create a different effect, and you can do that all right here in Premiere Pro with the Luma Key effect. Now we can also come in here and we can ease out and ease in these properties like we have in the past in our keyframe videos, ease out, ease in, to create an even smoother transition into our scene. The next effect is called the gradient wipe. So here we have two clips from Adobe Stock. We have this beautiful night sky of the Milky Way, and we have this couple walking up the mountain here. So rather than a hard cut, what I wanna do is actually fade the sky into this couple walking. Hover over our first clip here, and we're gonna go to the effects panel and type in gradient wipe. Drag that onto our clip. Now we have these effect controls up here, transition completeness, transition softness, and the gradient layer below is that video too. So all I'm gonna do here is set two keyframes, one at zero and set the other, and I'm gonna pull this to 100%. We have the night sky and we are gonna fade right into our next clip here and have this beautiful little transition. We can kind of see that the stars hover a little bit too long, so I'm gonna change these. I'm gonna go ease out and ease in. And to just better smooth this out, I'm gonna add a little uh, default cross dissolve to this final clip here so that we make sure that we're not seeing those stars on our next clip. Awesome. And I think that looks really, really cool. There are so many ways that you can use this gradient wipe. And once again, these are effects that exist inside of Premiere Pro that you can use to transition from clip to clip. Effect number three is a tool that I've talked about in some of the previous videos, and that is the transform tool. So here we have two clips, again, from Adobe Stock. We have this really awesome, busy drone shot of an intersection during the day. So the first thing I wanna do before we actually add that effect is reverse these clips, because I wanna actually start high, and I wanna then be zooming into the intersection. So I'm gonna go control R on my keyboard, and that's my shortcut for speed. Simply reverse the speed right here. And then we are going to do the exact same thing with our night clip. Let's start somewhere in here. Press J on my keyboard to cut it, and we're gonna go Command R and reverse that speed. So now we're going from here to somewhere like here. I'm gonna go to my project panel, right click, new item, and add an adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna drag that adjustment layer on top between these two clips. So the center point of this adjustment layer should be the cut between the two clips. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four frames to the right and cut that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing back here, go back to the clip, one, two, three, four. Now there are a lot of ways to actually achieve this effect. To me, this is the simplest, cleanest, and probably fastest way to do it. Let's go to the effects panel and search for transform. And under distort is where we're gonna pull transform and add it to our adjustment layer. Now nothing is happening, so we are gonna go up to our effects controls, and this is where the magic starts to happen. The only two properties we're gonna change are scale and this shutter angle right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is set a keyframe on the cut in between the two clips, and then we're gonna go three frames to the left, 
set another keyframe, and then we're gonna go three frames to the right and set one more keyframe. Change the center keyframe to 300. So we're zooming in to our next clip. So we can play that back and see that we have this really cool little zoom in as we're coming down onto the city streets. But I wanna actually make that a little bit blurrier and smoother. So we're gonna do that with a couple different parameters here. So where it says composition shutter angle, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna add 360 degrees for the shutter angle. This is what's gonna give us that blurriness and that blurred effect. If you don't want it as blurry, 180 will do the trick. So let's actually go somewhere in the middle, like to 270. So we're gonna go ease out on the front and ease in on the back. So now if we play that back, we have a really cool little animation that was done with just one adjustment layer and one effect inside of Premiere Pro. Now as one added bonus, if you do not wanna recreate this effect right here manually, all you'd have to do is come up here to where it says transform. Maybe we wanna rename this zoom effect, right click here, save this preset. We're gonna call this transform zoom effect as well. And we're gonna press okay. Now, if we go into the presets over here in our effects panel, you can see that the transform zoom effect has already been created for us. And if we remove this and just drag it onto our clip here, we have the effect right at our fingertips and we don't have to do all this work manually every single time. Now, the last effect I wanna talk about is something called the track mat key. And this is a way that we can make our text feel like it's built into the video and almost like a stencil of the text on top of the video that we choose. So we're gonna start with this clip again from Adobe Stock of this couple walking up the mountain. And I wanna have our text basically be a stencil of the background of this video. I'm just gonna add some text to the top here. We're just gonna call this piece because I can't think of something else to say right now. And we are gonna scale this up and let's just make this a little bit bigger so that we can get the full effect here and then drag our anchor point to the center, align, align, and now we have our text on top of the actual clip. Okay, so I'm gonna drag the text out to this whole clip. And now that we have our text on top of our footage, I wanna cut this out. We are gonna go over to the effects controls panel and we're just gonna search for track matte key and drag that on top of the video clip, not the text clip. We're gonna go down here, and as you can see, there's a matte option, and it allows you to select which video we wanna choose. So we're gonna choose video two. And now if we play that back, we can see that our text is actually being matted out between the video underneath it. Now let's say we wanted to add another clip underneath that, rather than just a black background, we can just simply drag that clip underneath and make sure that the mat is set to the appropriate video and we can add whatever we want below it. So if I wanted to bring the opacity down of this clip, but still maintain that mat here, we can do that and we have something that looks really, really cool, cinematic, something different, and again, an effect that is right here inside of Premiere Pro. So that's a short down and dirty way to explore some of the lesser known effects inside of Premiere Pro that you can use in your videos to act as transitions, act as another cinematic element to really amplify those videos and make them the best they possibly can.